We did over $15,000 in the month of October 2022 on the Turo platform. I am a Turo power host out here in Las Vegas, and we have over 20 plus vehicles now. Um, a few of those vehicles are being rented locally by like friends or we're doing a lot of different things with them to be creative, to leverage them. But we have a pretty big fleet. We've been active for over 15 plus months, over a thousand trips. Let me share with y'all why I believe we did such a great month in the mo month of October, especially in the midst of all this going on. Tap in y'all. If you guys enjoy stuff like this, I talk a lot of car rental biz recently. I, I will talk a lot about online stuff as well really talk about the marketplace, investing, side hustles. If you're into that stuff, tap in. So let's talk about this and how we did over 15K on the Turo platform last month. Now, number one factor that gives us the success and you know, I'm gonna kind of give you guys some simple ones, but really I just give all glory to God, okay? Wherever your faith is, I give glory to God because he does the impossible and I, there's no one else. I mean, I can't even say that we did a lot of this stuff. This is wisdom from the heavens. But the first thing when I talk about is the marketplace. It is really the marketplace that we're in. Las Vegas, it's a hot market. I just looked up how many tourists come every year. And in 2021, over 30 million tourists came in to Las Vegas just last year. Everyone finds a way to get to Vegas. So when I was looking at it and I'm thinking about the numbers, this is a hot spot. Okay. Yes, there's probably a lot of Turo hosts. I mean, I, I can just scroll and you'll see a lot of Turo hosts, but the marketplace really plays a factor in our success to being able to accommodate all the different renters that are coming in and out. In fact, more than 50% or probably about 50%, a little bit more, maybe 60, 60, 65, but I, I know a little bit more than 50% of our renters are coming straight from the airport. So they really Uber or Lyft to our location. And here's the thing, our location is only, is about 20 minutes away from the airport. I'm sure there's a lot of different hosts um, in between all of that. That's why I gotta give glory to God because they come all the way just to book with us. But I think the number one key factor to our success and continued bookings month to month to month is the location and the marketplace that we're in. Marketplace does play a factor. Look at your you know, city, you might be around a a city that has people that are traveling in and out too many people come to vegas and a majority of these people need rides they need cars they need to get around especially being in vegas a lot of people want to be free so i think marketplace really played a factor in our success two what i could talk about is possibly the cars now i know there's people out there that are like well rc should i get this car should i get this car you think this car will do good well first look at your marketplace then number two is when you're defining the car, what type of renter do you want? We don't have a lot of luxury vehicles. Most of our vehicles are economy where people are just getting around and that's the type of people we uh, attract. People that want economy, right? Less gas, not as high status. They wanna get around and a, a good amount, or I don't know, when I say good amount, probably about 30, 40%, maybe sometimes less depending on the month, sometimes more travel out of state. They'll go to, Utah, they'll go to Arizona, they'll go to Cali, right? I don't know, it's interesting, like people just fly into Vegas just to go, just to drive to travel to other cities to see family. I get it, some people stay in Vegas for a couple of days, then they'll go see family, then they'll come back and end their trip in Vegas for a couple of days. That's usually the average type of renter, but that's because we have a heavier economy type of fleet. We have vehicles where people can drive further. And do we wanna attract that renter that put more miles? Or do you want the more luxury ones that rarely are driving much? They just drive around the city and they're just trying to flex and look good in a, in a ride. Usually like our three series, that one's doing good. I've done a lot of videos on that where not, not too many people travel out. We've had a few that traveled out of state with it, but it's kind of rare. Like most of the time it's just around. They just wanna cruise in a nice vehicle to make them feel luxury. Uh, feeling so car it does play a role don't be like well does this work does this it, it is good to do research but don't let it hinder you from taking action okay like if you get a corolla good mileage good price point and if you're financing it you get a good good percentage then roll with it I, it's gonna rent and if it doesn't you're gonna keep it <laughs> like it's a good car to just have right as an economy a lot of my friends a lot of my friends in high school they grew up with corolla so i got that brand and our corolla does well it's pretty much always out i got a really good price on it for very low mileage it had like fourteen thousand mileage for uh for for a 2017 toyota corolla now it's around like 30 something now because it's been rented for the last year again just think about the car what type of client you want to attract with that car 
and does it fit in with your marketplace? So number two factor is our cars. We're mainly heavily um, a fleet that has more economy and just a handful of luxury. And the last thing is just the availability to be able to have your vehicle available. So for example, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. We do 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. some days a little bit later, some days a little bit earlier. Why we have the luxury and we have the team to be able to do that. The same reason why we're able to do deliveries. So if we wanna go deliver at the airport, we charge $120. And if you wanna deliver it anywhere else in the city of Las Vegas, we get the notification, but we have to approve it. So you could appro we can approve any other location. We usually do, we just want it ahead of time so we can plan, but airports, we're always ready for airports at whatever time they do. So I think that's what really gives us that bump in the algorithm when people are flying in or they're thinking about an airport, we could do, they could do a delivery to the airport if we wanna deliver it to them and they want that convenience. The last factor to the availability uh, thing is um, the, the, the ability to be able to book same day. So if they can book the same day within two to three hours. So let's say they wanna pick it up at our office, they have a two hour buffer. They are trying to schedule something at 12 o'clock. They can book as early as 2 p.m. and we'll have the vehicle ready, cleaned, checked in at our office. If they want a delivery, it's a three hour buffer. So they are looking at 12 p.m., they're at the airport and they're just like, hey, you know, I, I need a vehicle as soon as possible. 3, 3 p.m. is the earliest they can book from us. Now, we've had instances where people, their other Turo renter or their plans didn't go well with their car with the car rentals over there at the airport. So they ended up at the airport booking from us. They'll book at like 12 o'clock, they'll try to book for a three o'clock and then they'll call us and say, hey, can the car come back in an hour? And usually we'll be available to have somebody get the car ready, get it cleaned up, checked in within half an hour and then drive off to, to get it within the hour. And we've had that instance quite a few times, high class people, people that value their time and are just like, yeah, I don't care how much it is, give me a car, it's an emergency, my plans didn't go as as is and I just need a car now and we're able to accommodate. So I think it's the convenience of us to be able to have that availability from all day, nine to nine, not during odd hours, the, the same availability and ability to do a drop off, right? Whether it's airport or anywhere of the hotels in Las Vegas, and to be able to do same day booking. I really think all these factors allow you to just get bumped up in the algorithm and the, avail the availability of the cars. I know I'm going from availability to ability. The ability to have availability, powerful. Thanks y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made sense as well, gave you some insight, whether you're just getting started onto the Toro platform or you're looking to scale your fleet, that's what we got. I have actually a free template. So if you guys click the first link below, there's a free template of my dashboard, how we organize it, because we have to be organized when we're running this fleet from like oil changes, when's the next tire rotation, spark plugs, have they been changed? There's a lot of stuff that you guys need. I give that all to you for free. Join the email list. You get that email right away. Tap in. Thanks so much, guys, for being a part of this, being pretty much all throughout this video and getting to the very end. Go ahead, tap in subscribe if you guys enjoy content like this. I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.